In algebra, natural numbers are defined as the counting numbers, positive integers beginning with one and increasing by one forever. Zero is not a natural number. Natural numbers are foundations of mathematics. Natural numbers are whole positive numbers. They are never negative numbers or fractions. The mathematics symbol for a set of natural numbers is n. When mathematicians describe a group or set of integers, they use brackets and ellipses, like this. The ellipsis means the set continues in either one or two directions, getting smaller or getting larger in a predictable way. A set of natural numbers looks like this. Notice the set begins with one, not zero. Look at your fingers. You can mentally count using the natural numbers to find you have, in most cases, eight fingers and two thumbs. How about hairs on your head? Well, that may take longer, but on average, you will have a hundred thousand of those from this part of the set of whole numbers. When you need commas to separate periods and numbers, you replace the comma between numbers in the set with a semicolon. Natural numbers are called natural because they are a natural way to count objects using one-to-one -one correspondence. We have one number for every object, no matter what we are counting, real or imagined. Here are exactly nine countable examples. 1. Cupcakes to share. 2. Books on your shelf. 3. Ideas you thought of between 917 and 941. 4. Atoms in your body. 5. Grains of sand on the beach. 6. Number of elements on the periodic table. 7. Stars in our solar system. 8. Galaxies in the universe. 9. Atoms in all the stars of all the galaxies in the universe. In no case does the counting process of these items begin with zero, which is a problem. So, is zero a natural number? Most mathematicians, teachers, and professors consider zero a whole number, but not a natural number. Some, though, do consider zero a natural number. Its use in physics, for example, allows for the zeroth law of thermodynamics. If you are uncertain how your textbook, teacher, or professor uses zero, be sure to ask. Natural numbers can combine using operations. Addition. Adding natural numbers always yields another natural number. Subtraction. Subtracting natural numbers can result in a negative integer. Multiplication. Multiplying natural numbers always yields another natural number. Division. Dividing natural numbers can yield decimals, fractions, or mixed numbers. Here are exactly eight challenges to see if you know your natural numbers. Pause the video and try to answer all these questions before we give you the answers. Here are the answers to these eight questions. 